YouTube, get ready for the biggest update to the NVIDIA broadcast app. Version 1.4, this has some unbelievable stuff and I can't wait to show you. Let's go. Welcome back, everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Do the thing below. We're jumping straight into this video. This is gonna help you upgrade your stream. I'm gonna show you where you need to go, what you can do, and the level it can take you. So get ready, strap in. We're getting ready to go check out NVIDIA Broadcast. All right, here's the first step. You're gonna go to the NVIDIA website, link in the description below. You're gonna go to the site and we're gonna check out the system requirements. So let's go ahead and check that out real quick. Here's the system requirements. The GPU needs to be at least an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 260, Quattro RTX 3000, and a Titan RTX or higher. You need eight gigs of RAM or more, and the CPU is recommended an i5-8600, or the AMD Ryzen R5-2600 or higher. The drivers, you're gonna wanna make sure your NVIDIA Studio driver is updated, the Game Ready driver, and the NVIDIA RTX Enterprise driver, depending on what you use for your system. Of course, you need internet connectivity to get the download, so make sure you have your internet plugged in. So now we're back on top of the site. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna start the download right here. This is for version 1.4.0, so depending on when you're watching this video, just check. We're gonna go ahead and launch the download. It's gonna do a system check. You gotta agree to all the stuff. We clearly read it. We want the express installation. This is what I recommend. And now we start the download. All right, the download's complete. Now we're gonna go ahead and hit close. NVIDIA Broadcaster is going to launch. And now I'm gonna show you what you can do with the program. What are the new updates and what could be most beneficial for you? All right, so what you're seeing now is I've set my camera up, my camera source inside of NVIDIA Broadcast. I use my CamLink 4K, even though I'm using a Canon 80D. It's not a uh, 4K, but it's 1080p. It's still gonna work. Um, and now you can see the effects window here. You've got all your options here, and you've got all your additional options down here. But what I'm gonna show you first is how to get this set up in OBS. So down here, you see your camera, your cam link. That's the camera source that we're gonna use. We're gonna right click and we're gonna go to properties. And on the device, instead of clicking cam link four, we're gonna switch that right here to camera NVIDIA broadcast. We're gonna click that. Now you'll see the camera working. Now we've got two versions of me on the screen. And now we can go in and we can jump into some of the effects that NVIDIA Broadcast has put out in version 1.4.0. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and start with background removal, or as some people like to call it a green screen. You can tell I've got a lot of colors, a lot of lights going on. I don't have any gr like real deep greens or bright greens that somebody might use for a green screen. So what I'm gonna show you now is what that's gonna look like. Boom, there's the background removal. It's pretty good. We do see some bright colors. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my, my phone app here and I'm gonna turn the lights off in the background so you can see what the difference is gonna look like. There's the difference. You don't see any of those extra bright lights. We get a little bit of color. I have an um, additional monitor over here. We're gonna turn those lights back on. Okay, just a little bit of light. Now here's some movement. This is what gets a lot of people, people a lot to say this is, this is too much, but if you're just doing this, Yes, there's gonna be blur. Uh, it's gonna be hard to see, but if you're just, if you're moving normally uh, without any super exaggerated motions, yeah, you get a little bit down here. Um, but I mean, if you're, if you're just gaming, if this is minimized, you're not gonna see too much of this. So if we shrunk this window down, you're not really gonna see much past the gameplay. Um, so this is great and you can select this for performance or quality depending on your your system's ability to to process especially while you're gaming um, We're gonna remove the background and we're gonna go to the next one Which is gonna be the vignetting the vignetting uh, This is okay. The vignetting's all right. This is all this is going to do is this This is it 
It's no different than vignetting an, uh, a photo on your phone. You can you can put a bunch on. You can you can take a bunch off. But this is vignetting at its its highest level, and this is vignetting at its lowest level, which is zero. So this is one of the newest ones. Simple enough. Uh, now we're gonna go to one of my favorite ones called auto framing. Auto framing has been on here for a little while. Um, we're gonna go ahead and click that. Now this gives you the option of zooming in pretty far. So this will adjust with the webcam, DSLR, mirrorless camera, uh, whatever you're using for your stream. So now as we move to the left, move to the right, this is gonna follow us wherever we go. So this is fun. If you are a, if you are a fast mover, a mover and a shaker, the camera will follow you. Um, this is fun for your chat. This is fun for people to be involved, to watch the camera just going crazy. But once again, you can set that for how close you want it. Uh, Cause obviously the, the farther away it is, it's not as exaggerated looking as the farther you zoom out. And now we're gonna move on to NVIDIA broadcasts newest this is the biggest part of the update, and this is the AI eye cam, which is supposed to keep you looking at the camera. I'm not sure who asked for this, and I'm just gonna warn you, this is a little creepy. All right, we're gonna go ahead and uh, click in the effects block, and we're gonna go to eye contact beta and see what happens here. So now I am dead eye staring. I'm, I'm looking into my camera. I'm looking into my camera. Now I'm gonna look down at my microphone. Now I just look like I lost a lot of sleep. So I'm gonna look at my microphone. I'm gonna open my eyes up. It is very creepy. It doesn't look anything like my eyes. Now I'm gonna stare at the camera and turn this off. And here's what you got. There's the difference, okay. Whoa. That's haunting. So this is the update to the NVIDIA broadcast app version 1.4.0. Let me know what you think. Is the AI contact app worth it? Is it creepy? Would you even use it? I don't know. Tell me in the comments down below. We'll be back with more videos. I hope that maybe you make creepy videos through that. But until then, we'll see you next time. And bye.